Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot blue screen error memory management on Adele. So the first thing we're going to have you do is hit your power button and tap on F12. We're going to go into your diagnostic and test your RAM because uh, memory is really just another word for your RAM. And so once you hit this screen, you're going to hit diagnostics and click on that. We have the Windows 10 version of this uh, video, by the way, also down in the description. Uh, now, as you can see, it is scanning for any sort of hardware problems. So we're going to see if Dell's built-in diagnostic will show us if there's a RAM problem. Okay, so it says all tests passed successfully. If your RAM failed, then you would need to replace it. Um, but in this case, it didn't fail, so we're going to move on to the next step which is more aggressively testing your RAM. This is a, cause sometimes the diagnostic will only pick up on if the RAM is slightly bad, is very bad, but we're gonna test it for if it's really bad. Um, if you don't want this more aggressive approach, you can uh, skip to the end of the video, which will show you um, a third option for troubleshooting, but this is really the most thorough one, is we're gonna make sure that our Dell is all the way off and we're gonna test the RAM again, but this time we're gonna go inside the computer. Once again, you're nervous going inside the computer, not a problem, skip to the last uh, step in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my Dell, you can get a disassembly video for that. Once I'm inside, I'm going to test my RAM. Uh, one stick at a time. So first thing, make sure that when you're testing your RAM, your battery is unplugged. Um, also, you know, be careful not to touch a bunch of the components inside the computer and be careful when unplugging your battery. So you want no power in the board, meaning unplug your battery and your power cord so that you have no power running in it whatsoever. Okay, so looking at your RAM. First thing I'm going to do, if I have two sticks of RAM, I'm going to try removing one at a time. If I remove one RAM stick, the first one as we see here, uh, by pulling out the arms on the side gently and it will pop up and pull it out. So two fingers, pull it to the side and I'm going to take one RAM stick out. Now, if I discover that after taking that one stick of RAM out and leaving one in, that I once again, I go ahead and I hit the power button and my blue screen error is gone, then I know that I had one bad stick of RAM in there. Because RAM is kind of like headlight on a, uh, headlights on a car, it tends to go bad one at a time. So next thing, if I do turn it on and I still have that blue screen error, the next step would be to put the to op, to pull out that other stick of RAM and replace it with the RAM stick that I took out and test it once again. If I find with the other RAM stick installed that the blue screen error goes away when once again, I try turning it back on, then I know that, okay, that RAM stick that's uninstalled, that's the bad RAM stick. Because oftentimes memory management is due to, this error is due to a bad stick of RAM. And then the final approach would be, um, if you have one stick of RAM, oh sorry, the final approach would be to try testing the other port with one RAM stick at a time. If you only have one stick of RAM, by the way, then you can always just order another replacement stick of RAM and see if that fixes the problem. Because unfortunately, if you don't have two, you can't test with two. But once again, if you test the other port as well by putting one stick in at a time, seeing if it turns on, and that way you're covering the fact that it's either A, not a bad RAM stick, or B, it's not a bad port. So after testing the one port, you test the other port with both sticks of RAM because you want to make sure that, you know, that in addition that you don't have one bad port and one bad stick. So you try both sticks in each port and by the process of elimination, you see if you have a bad stick of RAM or a bad port because if you find it works in one port and not the other or with only a certain RAM stick, then you can see, okay, which port is good, which port is bad, things like that, which stick is good, which stick is bad. Okay, so you need to order a new RAM stick. Let's just look at one real quick. You're gonna look for a part number. The easiest way to ensure that you get the right stick is just order the same brand and the same part number. That's really the easiest way to do it. Order it on Amazon a new one or order it on eBay a new one. Um, I don't really suggest getting a used one because you can just end up in the same exact you know position you are now. Um, okay, so if 
all your RAM checks that I was working, you don't have any problems. The last thing you could try that oftentimes works is reinstalling the operating system. In the description down below, we have a video on how you can take a USB stick like you see here in the shot and reinstall Windows from scratch. Uh, it's really not that bad, not too hard, but you know, go ahead and check out that video down below. Uh, also as a final option, we have a video for how to do a BIOS reset in some, uh, in some cases that can also assist with a memory management issue. Um, it's less likely, but always a possibility. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share and use that super thanks button.